Hey everybody, Scott Sprinter here, DocSports.com, and welcome to the update for Tuesday, November 12th, 2019. Free pick coming up in college football. We look to stay right hot with our free picks. We'll get to that. First quick note, if you have yet to become a member at DocSports.com, just want to give it a trial run, all you got to do is click on the link below this video, get set up for a free $60 account, and use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anybody else over on the roster at DocSports.com. It's as simple as that. Free $60 account great way to give docs a trial run and again all you got to do to get started click on the link below the video and it comes with the docsports.com guarantee all right listen last night here another winner we had the seattle seahawks you know we kind of talked about uh, the fact that jimmy g had yet to have to put the offense on his shoulders and yet to have to make big plays and win a game well he had two last night and he didn't didn't come through and, and not all his fault obviously but the fact is is that he wasn't all that accurate like we thought he wouldn't be and he didn't have kittle his tight end that was a huge difference also and listen i tell you what we talked about it briefly on last night's video stuff the run and see if garoppolo can beat you Seattle did just that. Seattle got the victory after a rough start, down pretty quick in that game, and then came back, adjusted throughout the contest. Russell Wilson with that huge game, and uh, they go on to get the win. Russell Wilson now 6-0 and against the spread when his team's getting six or more points uh, since he's been with Seattle. And you know about that primetime record, phenomenal spread record for Pete Carroll with Seattle. All right, listen, all of Tuesday's picks, well, NBA, college basketball, NHL, all going to be posted at their normal times, NBA and NHL, 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. College basketball, 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific. As far as the NBA and the NHL, we are for sure in action in both. And you know about our runs now, uh, 54 and 36 in the NBA and in the NHL, 41 and 23 October, November run. Both NHL and NBA will be posted by 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific on Tuesday. And we'll see if all the lines stay where they are uh, on a couple of the games that we're looking at in college baskets. So be sure to check the site and see if I have anything going in college baskets on Tuesday anytime after 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific for college basketball. We're basically done handicapping the football card coming up for this week in college and pro. Just got to kind of see where the lines move, get some more information on some injuries. And it looks like we do have an eight-unit play going this weekend. We'll talk more about that on Thursday's video. Free pick in just a moment in Tuesday college baskets. But before I get to that, it is Tuesday. That means our NFL rundown and recap from kind of a betting perspective from the last week. We just talked about Seattle San Francisco. Francisco on Monday night. Let's get to them in no particular order. Just as I jot down the notes, the Cardinals lose to the Buccaneers 30-27, but the Cardinals did get the cover despite going one for 10 on their third down conversions. Bottom line is Kyler Murray looks like a better NFL quarterback already than does Jameis Winston. His two interceptions, Jameis, uh, basically kept Arizona around, kept them in this game, and we had the Bucs and unfortunately did not get the cover. Uh, Tampa Bay going to host the Saints this week. The Cardinals will be at San Francisco. Francisco. Saints ought to be a little bit angry, huh? Giants lose to the Jets 34 to 27. Jones, Daniel Jones, four touchdowns, no picks, threw for a decent amount of yardage. What's different between when he's starting and when Eli was starting? We said early in the season, it's not Eli's fault that this team is terrible. And after a first game or so, Daniel Jones continues to put up decent numbers, but his team is terrible. Uh, now Saquon Barkley's banged up. There's talk that they're going to shut him down, all that kind of good stuff. Both teams averaged under five yards per play on offense. Somebody had to win. The Jets did it. They won by seven. The Lions without Matthew Stafford take on Chicago. Chicago wins 20 to 13. Jeff Driscoll, a quarterback for the Lions uh, on Sunday. Listen, I'll tell you what, Chicago had just 13 first downs, 226 total yards, just over four yards per play. So it's not like they figured things out, but Montgomery was efficient running the football for Chicago. And because of that, Trubisky could be a game manager. He did just that. 16 for 23, 173 yards, three touchdowns, no picks. The Lions will host Dallas this week. The Bears at the Rams on Sunday night. Ravens crush the Bengals 49-13. to Listen, between free picks and premium picks Sunday and Monday, we had a winning weekend in the NFL. In fact, 8-3-1 with all premium and free picks in college and pro football this weekend. But I lost at the Bengals. It was a really bad spot for Baltimore. That's how good this team's playing. It was a horrible spot for the Baltimore Ravens. But they hung 49 on the hapless Bengals and beat them by 36. 
and Lamar Jackson's looking like the second coming of Michael Vick. They gained over eight yards per play in the game. Jackson goes 15 for 17, three touchdowns, no picks. And I like the fact that he only carried the football seven times this week. Don't need to run him a lot when you're blowing teams out and give the guy a little bit of a break so he doesn't get hurt, basically. But uh, they had RG3 out on the field with, with uh, I almost said it with the Vick. They had RG3 out on the field with Lamar Jackson at times in the game. And uh, listen, it was just a situation where the Bengals are pathetic and they made a lot of mistakes again in Baltimore playing darn good football, better than we thought they were before the season. And when you blow a team out in a horrible spot that you are in, you're playing some good football. Baltimore hosting the Texans this week. Bengals at Oakland. Bills lose to the Browns 19-16. to Perfect example on whether or not you should be betting or not. If you like the Browns, you shouldn't have laid more than two and a half. If you like the Bills, you shouldn't have done worse than a push because there were threes out there also. You got to hunt for the best number. Uh, we had Cleveland uh, and they got the job done. We talked about this in our analysis of the football game uh, this past week that the Cleveland Browns would be going up against a Bills team that if you stop their running game and put the onus of the offense on Josh Allen, you got a good chance to win. And well, that's exactly what happened. Also wanted to mention real quick, Buffalo with a very good defense, not been so great against the running game over the last four or five games, giving up over 100 yards in each of those. And don't look now, but Kareem Hunt is back. He played for Cleveland over the weekend on Sunday. He was a good lead blocker. He was a good decoy, ran the ball a few times. They're going to be a better football team with him playing in that backfield with Nick Chubb. Dolphins upended the Colts 16 to 12. Brian Hoyer was terrible filling in for Brissett, 18 for 39, a touchdown, three picks. He is 0-10 in his last 10 starts as an NFL quarterback. The Chiefs knock off the Titans. Excuse me, the Chiefs got knocked off by the Titans 35 to 32. Kansas City had 28 first downs to 19 for Tennessee. Kansas City had 530 yards to 370 for the Titans, but they allowed 7.6 yards per play. Ten Tennessee ran the ball for 225 yards on almost nine yards per carry. That's how bad this Kansas City defense is playing right now, and they just lost their top player as far as a defensive end who gets after the quarterback. Might have lost what just is their best pass rusher and uh, going to be out, and that's not a good thing for this KC defense. Let's take it on the Chargers uh, next in Mexico City. Tennessee's off this week. Falcons. We had the Falcons over the weekend, and the books cleaned up on this one, and when the books clean up, we usually do pretty well also. Falcons over the Saints by 17, 26 to 9. The Saints obviously had peaked emotionally several times with Teddy Bridgewater, a quarterback, everybody picking up the slack for not having Drew Brees. They finally ran into it here. The defense for Atlanta, which had seven sacks or whatever it was, six sacks in seven games, they had six sacks on Sunday against New Orleans. Uh, the Panthers lose to the Packers 24 to 16. The Packers, six yards per carry, ran for over 160 yards. Aaron Jones, Jamal Williams both ran extremely well. Packers gained nearly seven yards per play. Kyle Allen uh, played a decent game except one particular play in the red zone when he threw a pick in the end zone, down 11 at the time. Uh, that really hurt their chances in the game. McCaffrey went over 100 yards again. Uh, the Panthers were down eight. They went for two in the fourth quarter. I know what the analytics say. I just don't agree with it. I think it was a bad move. Listen, it's real simple. I've got the formula for being a successful coach in the NFL. Remember these four letters, WWBD. What would Belichick do? Copy the blueprint. Do your best to come as close to Belichick. You might do all right. Panthers host Atlanta this week. Uh, the Packers will be on their bye week. Steelers knock off the Rams 17 to 12. Guess what? Since the Super Bowl and including the Super Bowl loss to the Pats, the Rams are now five and five straight up in their last 10 games. Goff, 60%. That's it this season through the year. And since that Super Bowl game, his last 10 games, he has just 11 touchdown passes with 10 interceptions. They're unable to run the football. That means they're unable able to use play action efficiently. That means he's got to drop back and pass. That's not what Garrett, Jared Goff does. And Pittsburgh made him pay for it. Listen, Pittsburgh only had four yards per play, uh, but they did get the win 17 to 12. Thursday night football, Pittsburgh at Cleveland. Rams hosting Chicago Sunday night football. Vikings beat the Cowboys 28 to, four, uh, 28 to 24 in Sunday night football. Dallas with over six yards per play, but Minnesota ran for over 150 yards and controlled the flow of the game. Cook 
26 for 97 on the ground. Cousins, efficient, 23 for 32, 220 yards. A couple more touchdowns, no interceptions. And the biggest news of that game was the fact that Minnesota completely shut down Zach Elliott in the Dallas ground game. Elliott had just 2.4 yards per carry, and they bottled him up, man. And that made life rough on that Dallas offense. And the Vikings get the win, 28 to 24. And already, again, we talked about what Seattle did uh, to San Francisco and how it all happened on Monday night. That was our free pick here, Seattle plus the points. Let's make it quick. Uh, first, get uh, remind you that uh, the basketball, NBA and NHL for sure, will be posted at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific on Tuesday. We'll look to continue those runs and then college basketball check after 11.30 a.m. Eastern to see if we're going to be involved in college basketball on Tuesday. All right, that's going to do it. Uh, again, the free pick is on the Dallas, excuse me, boy, I'm all messed up here. We're going to turn to the free pick here and go to Tuesday Night College Football and we're going to back the Akron Zips plus the points here. They're getting about 17 in this MAC matchup on Tuesday night. We really feel they should be getting about 14. We're going to back the Akron Zips. I'll make it quick because of the long analysis we just gave on what happened over the weekend in the NFL. Akron plus the points Tuesday Night College Football. We'll be right back here on Wednesday by 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific. A new free pick. A much shorter video. I'm Scott Sprites with DocSports.com. If you like the videos click on that thumbs up button be sure to subscribe let's stay red hot with our free picks and i'll be right back here wednesday morning